That only goal on 14 minutes from Fabrizio Micoli is the only goal of the game. Both sides finished with 10 men. It's time for a shootout, Brian Kerr. Yes, indeed. And the best goal has to be very, very proud indeed of his team. Over two games, lost the goal in the injury time at the bowling road last week. And uh, came out and did their stuff from the off tonight. They were busy, energetic, skillful on the ball, tenacious in the tackle. A little bit mad at times in the way they they uh, haunted the referee and appealed for decisions and probably helped to get Tompkins put off in that situation. But excellent performance by the home team tonight. And I think well deserved to win tonight's game. Tonight's try, one all, might be enough for them. Have they got the, they got the ability to win this match of penalty kicks? We know Adrian's good goalkeeper, huge man in the goal, capable of taking the penalty, as you mentioned himself, if it comes to that. But, uh, there's some shock if West Ham go out to the team from Malta. And as a manager, are you asking who wants one? Are they self-nominating or are you pointing? I, I, I think in the situation where Bilic is only in the club, he's uh, he's very he'd be very much in a situation. He may be relying on his staff, some of the staff that know the players better, and uh, I'm sure there'll be discussions, and he'd be looking for players to nominate themselves. I would imagine that, that Mark Noble would be saying, "Well, I'm in. I'm the captain." And he'd be looking around, saying, "You know, who's the other candidates?" With Joey O'Brien. Wouldn't be, depend, wouldn't be wanting to depend on the centre half. I'd say, I say Croswell would be in there. Uh, Poyet fresh in the match, good striker the ball. My eager centre forward. That's, but players have got to want to take it. You know, you've got to, they've got to want to volunteer and feel confident that they'll do it. You don't want to be pointing guys out and saying, "Will you take one?" They should be holding their hands up and said, "Let me at it." Is there that they saying? I'm on, I'm in, I'm going to have it. So players discussing their potential penalties. A big moment at the Takali National Stadium, one of the biggest nights in Burkakara's history. Players being taped up, bandaged up. They may be needed to take a spot kick here. Uh, Justin Harvard's played well in the goal. The middle, that was a good save close to the end of the match when he... He uh, went out at Zarate's feet to take that ball. Hadn't had too much to do. A couple of catches in the first half. Bit wobbly on a on couple of the corners. He didn't take cleanly. But looks looks a good size. Has inter plenty of international experience. 33-year-old keeper. Would have been involved in plenty of penalty shoots, shootouts in the past. And as you know, Adrian has been involved in a couple of big ones last season as well. So they're just now deciding what ends and where this should happen. Uh, Harper can only be the hero in this situation as the goalkeeper, surely. Yeah, uh, I don't think the end is going to have a, a massive impact on this match. You, you look at how far back the, the, uh, the fans are. That's nice, Noble smiling. You didn't see much of that in the match, but they're a long way from behind, uh, behind the goal, so I don't see it affecting penalty take or, or upsetting the goalkeeper with any abuse either. I think it would be down to the, the skill level and the ability of the player, the nerve of the player, and uh, the goalkeeper's ability to read the situation and, and, and get a bit lucky diving the right way. So here we go, the players head towards the halfway line, the goalkeepers towards the penalty area. And there is that long walk, Adrian, with the applause to his West Ham supporters, he's calling for them to support the team right to the last minute now. Really, he should be getting on with his own concentration level, getting, his, getting himself mentally prepared for the job he has to do. You know, I don't really think he should be involving himself in that sort of stuff. And, Urging the fans, what do you want them to do? You know, he, he wanted West Ham supporters to try and put off the, the, the penalty takers of the opposition. You know, really, it's, 
I think the goalkeepers here have been well prepared mentally, making good decisions, trying to read the run of the taker for his body position, can he anticipate which side he's going to go to? So here we go, now we're first up. Here's uh, West Ham's go to penalty taker. He scored in a shootout against Everton last season in the FA Cup. The whistles ring round. It is the first penalty of the shootout. And it's a man is West Ham through and through. Martin Noble to take. Calmly done from Martin Noble. And West Ham a one up. No bother with that. Nice finish. Keeper made it easy for him, going the wrong way. Never in any doubt. Sent the keeper the wrong way. Now it's time for Adrian to try a little bit of mind games. And Harvard, the other goalkeeper, getting involved now, taking the ball off Adrian. So it is the captain, Paul Fenich, the Maltese international captain as well. He scored a penalty in the 3 1 win of Elysees in the last round. Superb penalty! Brilliant penalty, Adrian. Telling them to go to his right, he's probably seen the penalty taken in the previous round and saw it go to the right. He's telling them, I know that you can go to that side, but put that two or three keepers in there, they might have stopped it. Now, Zarachi, the latest player, playing for his West Ham future, most likely at the moment, in this European campaign. Arthur committed himself very early indeed, and it's 2-1. Uh, short run-up, didn't like the look of it, but got plenty of power into the strike. And through the middle when the keeper dived. Arthur made that very easy indeed. Well, on comes uh, Vito Plut, the Slovenian striker with experience from playing in Belgium as well. He came on for Fabrizio Micoli, who, had he been on the pitch, had he been fit enough to last the 120, would no doubt be taking a penalty here. I think they did well to get about 70 minutes out of him as it was. So put from 12 yards. All square sent out down the wrong way. Two brilliant penalties so far from Berkica. I'm sure many of the people who bought tickets for this game thought, well, it's a chance to see real Premier League talent live. We normally have to watch it on TV. They perhaps didn't expect to see a contest like this. Cresswell, he's got a wicked left foot on him. Excellent penalty right into the corner. Smashing penalty. Great quality so far. How long can it last? A bit again. Set the wrong way. A reminder if you are just joining us that both teams had a player sent off in the game. Man involved in that sending off for James Tompkins, Nikola Vukanats. That's his chance now to level it up. The pressure got to him. West Ham have the lead. I was about to say, Rob, that I don't usually like the look of centre halves coming up to take penalties. And he's had a hard night, played well in the game, but my God, did he balloon that one over the bar. Look, it didn't just barely go over the bar, it went miles over the bar. It's a really poor kick. 
from Bukinats. The Serbian centre back heads back to the centre circle. Joey O'Brien. Oh, that's not a bad penalty at all. Great penalty from Joel. There it goes. Looked like it was rising. I was just a little bit worried. Was it going to go too high? He got it right. Feeling even if Harper had saved that, it might have been retaken. He was well, well off his line. Well, they have to score this, Burkakara. 4-2 down in the shootout. And Edmund Agius perhaps only making life even more difficult and tense for himself here. This to keep Burkakara in European competition. He gestures to Adjan to be quiet because that was a spot on penalty. Yeah, it's not a great penalty, but uh, they, need a, they need a miss from West Ham now on the last one. Standard and spot kicks has been good apart from the ballooned effort from Vukanac. Diego Poyer looking to really impress this season with West Ham. Under Slavan Bilic having been peripheral last season. Cool as you like, and job is done for West Ham. Diego Poyet seals a 5 3 shootout win, Brian Kirk. Yeah, it's just about got there. Uh, I don't think they covered themselves in glory with the performance. I say those players are very relieved, going to their own supporters now look very very happy with the achievement I wouldn't imagine the manager the new coach was over impressed with any individual on the night but they got there and uh, they're into the next round I suppose that's ultimately what counts for those supporters and they're very happy I'd say relieved to see the team going through I think relief is the primary word Diego Poyer knew that Harper had been over committing himself on the dives on those penalties and just waited for him to leave part of the goal empty. But a real mission on for Slavon Bilic who avoids a potential banana skin here. What a performance from Bergakara. They deserve real credit and they're a credit to Maltese football but West Ham go through full time here. Bergakara 1, West Ham 0. From one on aggregate, West Ham win 5-3 on penalties.